Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec Cyclidae. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your aquarium rocks. Yeah, another video about rocks, what you gonna do. So, enjoy the show! Before we get started, as usual, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I post a bunch of fishy content and you don't want to miss a single video. Also, if you don't know me, my name is Rochelle. I own a local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, that is right outside of Montreal. So if ever you're around, don't be shy to stop by. Alright, so back to business, because this is going to be a pretty straightforward, easy video. Here is how you clean your rocks. So basically when you buy your rocks, they're beautiful. They're, let's say you're with African cichlids, you bought these awesome white rocks, and now they look like this. Well, of course, if you want to go and buy new rocks and support your local fish store and your local economy, that's on you and that is fine. But there's also a way to clean them because they're rocks, they don't like expire. So here's the trick. First things first, take them out of the aquarium. You're not gonna be cleaning them in the aquarium. Once that is done, get yourself a five gallon bucket. It can be the buckets you use for your water changes, but this will take about a week. So if you have your water change plan, maybe just get a new bucket, but it has to be a clean, sterile bucket. It can be one that you use for cleaning the floor. So be careful with that because then you will kill your fish. So a new clean uh, food grade bucket. Drown the rocks in water. Once that is done, grab Javel water. Yeah, bleach. That you just, I don't have a like real pathology. I sort of just like splash it in and I figure that looks good enough. And if it's not enough after a couple days, I just change the water and add some more. Usually you'll see results very quick with these rocks. It might take a little longer because they are really nasty. They are dark. And I might have to do a couple of treatments. Once you are done and you're happy with what the rocks look like, don't put them directly in the aquarium because Javel water, it's bleach is ammonia. So you don't want to put that in the aquarium. You can kill your tank, you can disrupt your aquarium cycle. Let it stand. Make sure it evaporates. Technically it evaporates over a couple of days, but I am extremely paranoid about this. I will change the water and I will let it sit for about a week or and then I will forget about it and then it'll take like weeks but technically one week you're fine but try not to forget about it because that's kind of my style so with this being said you can do this for pretty much all your decorations as well you know if you have any artificial plants not natural plants obviously like come on but I I have to cover all the basics here but yeah no no natural plants but your artificial plants as well I do this often because this company started off in 2002 and I have some old stuff so I'm not always changing it up to new stuff but I like to preserve the old stuff as long as I can and whatever you do obviously I'm repeating this do not treat in the aquarium meaning don't put bleach in your aquarium just putting this out there also very important to note um, because this has happened more than once don't put your rocks in the dishwasher like just don't do that even if you do a wash without soap there is usually soap residue and it'll get in your rocks can kill your fish everyone who's done it has had a very bad experience that I know of I haven't done it because I'm not gonna put my rocks in the dishwasher but you know I have a huge base of clients I've been doing this I have been here for 10 years so I've met a lot of people and I've seen all the mistakes that can be made and I'm not going to insult this these people I mean we all make mistakes and you know at least now you're gonna avoid this mistake hopefully so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you get your aquarium clean you know, it's really simple but there are a couple things that absolutely have to be said you know don't put bleach in your aquarium don't put them in your dishwasher how have you guys been cleaning your rocks do you have any techniques at work that I didn't talk about because could be as long as it's not the dishwasher <laughs> so write them down in the comment section I love reading your comments it also inspires me to make my videos so also if you like this video hit that subscribe button and encourage me and don't miss a single video because yeah it's not just about encouraging me it's about you not missing videos and getting to know everything that I know about fish keeping 
Also, if you want more fish content in between my videos, well, you can follow me on social media. The links are in this page and in the video description. So make sure to have a look wherever you're hanging out on the internet. Also, if you like this fabulous Cyclic Geek t-shirt, you can get it in my Teespring store. Every shirt you get encourages me to continue doing what I'm doing, and I really appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who supports me in my Teespring store, in my YouTube channel, and in my actual physical store in Terrebonne, Quebec. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.